Yeah, so somebody's asked for an ETA on TCU unlocks for 2022 on uh, and newer like the B9 and half S4s, the Mark 8s and whatnot. Um, and then asking why it takes so long. Is there a roadmap or is this uncharted territory? Um, there is no roadmap. There is um, basically the opposite is if you ever have a map, they light it on fire and then you find a new map and then they light that yeah. one on fire. And then they put those like and, and those then, tire popping strips. Yeah, and those the rumble strips. Yeah, the, the, the stanchions that pop up and try and stop you. Mm -hmm. Um, so no, the, the OEMs make it as hard as possible for any of this to happen. Um, we have to find new tricks, new workarounds. Um, all of the TCUs up to basically this 2022 uh, era had a um, flaw in the way that the OEMs validated the data uh, after it was flashed in. And we were able to mathematically get around that pretty, I wouldn't say easy, but it was a straightforward method to get around it. And it, it applied across like all of the ECUs that Bosch did, or TCUs that Bosch did from 2016 up to um, 2022, when they finally got got a handle on what the pro, you know <laughs> what they messed up on and uh, and uh, kind of closed that door. So the, the the data that goes into these TCUs is um, is RSA signed. There's a, uh, a cryptographic key that is used to sign all of the data, and that has to match up after the flash um, to a number of different parameters, but it's it's the same level of security that you get with you know like your online bank that uses a whatever 256 or 512 bit uh, security key so you know your transactions are safe you know it's the same kind of of technology used here and there's a reason banks use it and trust it at that level is it's if it's done right is a very secure very hard to mm -hmm. and um, the U.S. government <laughs> yeah everyone uh, that's lit's what the, the literally all of our transactions are backboned on um, and it's a very secure very robust. Um, you know, uncrackable thing in a reasonable amount of time. It would take thousands, tens of thousands of years, even with modern computers to brute force it. So, um, so yeah, that's the level of, of, of technology we are up against to try and get around it. And it's just a matter of finding the cracks, finding the weak spots, finding, finding some sort of exploit, um, that the OEM, you know, missed it's you're, you're looking for another engineer's mistakes and they're only always getting better and better and better because they you know, we found X number of doors in the past. They know we found those doors and we'll do their best to keep them shut in the future. So, um, yeah, it's an ever evolving and, and tricky task. And it's not like it's a, uh, yeah, we just need to spend some time on it. We'll get it. It'll take us, you know, five, five days to get the, the code worked out and pound it out. It's, 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 yeah, we just got to keep working on it, trying new things, trying different things. And, yeah, it's, it's yeah, not it's zero, for more cracks. It's not a zero through four issue either. It's everyone's. Nobody has this. Yep. Right? So, um, and it's the same thing. It's why the B9 S4 didn't have calibrations for mm -hmm. like three, three years, years after release. Um, this is all the exact same problem. It's the RSA signing on that mm -hmm. calibration. You had to find a workaround for it. Yep. Um, and it's not about working around and signing the thing or defeating the RSA. It's finding something else that you can do to the ECU that lets, lets you get in there. So, yep. Um, any... Any drawbacks of running ECU patch tune without TCU tune? What's missing? I would assume reworked launch control doesn't work. Oh, it's just everything we offer in the, like the stage two TCU files. Um, so performance, like raw performance wise, it's going to be the same. Uh, acceleration is going to be the same. Uh, your shift points won't be as optimized. Um, so those might be lower. Um, it's just as safe. Uh, all of the other, you know. Yeah, someone's features asking like if they should wait to get the ECU once the TCU is available or can we do the T ECU now with, I mean, we, with the patch? Yeah, we've talked about this a lot. Is it, Whenever we can, we prefer to have them both. But in this instance, it's it's an unknown amount of time. We can't promise that you know this is going to be done anytime soon. Um, and we have yet to see any issues at all uh, running a, a, the ECU, the well, stock TCU and, patch. And why, and why why is it safe? Why, why haven't you seen issues? I mean, we still listen to all of the, the TCU torque reduction stuff, save for yeah. like one value that gets yeah. passed across so um, you can specifically, still, which is just this top like cap that it sends over. You can still... Be, for all the B9 and a half stuff, yes. Different from Mark 8. Um, oh, Mark 8, we're not doing anything like that yet. Um, we are investigating whether that's going to be a viable solution. But I, at this point, no, that's totally safe. It's fine. It's just under the TCU cap. TCU is totally happy. Yeah, so. it, it's safe. Uh, there's, a, there's a huge bump in performance there will be even more power once tcu is available but um there's no reason to wait I, I don't know where this idea has gotten out that you should wait till the tcu I, 
the TCU is better. Yes. You know, with the TCU is the best. That's, that's how we offer it. But I don't know. It's like, if you go, if you go to, you know, a delicious hamburger restaurant and they run out of cheese, it's like, well, I think everybody likes cheese on their hamburger. Cheeseburgers are delicious, but are you not going to get a hamburger? Cause there's no cheese, you know, you're going to come back a week later, you know? So it's like, you can still have a really good hamburger, um, without cheese. Of course it's better with cheese. Um, so, uh, I mean, if you want to wait, you can, but there's, there's not a real reason to, uh, of course, when we release the TCU patch, you will get it for free. So you'll, you'll, you'll get that later on. And then when we release TCU tunes, those will be available to you at a cheaper price because we always offer a discount for anyone that has bought before the TCU. So we, you know, and sometimes it's, it's pretty substantial, like 20, 30% off um, the TCU cost. I think in the past it was like a $600 TCU team. We did it for like 450 or something like that. So there's every advantage to get it now. If you're looking for more power and performance, do it now you will get the thing that you're missing for free when it's available and you'll get better pricing on staged, you know, higher performance TCU tunes when they're available. And I think, uh, currently we still have, we've already done all of the file and calibration work. So, uh, once we get the unlock stuff working, those, those stage two yeah. and up files are ready to go. It's, it's the flashing. That's the issue. It's the flashing it's not it's the because there's still cars too. We had one the other day. It was a 2023 come through. Was able to flash his TCU fine. So, um, so we still put all the files up. We still try and make you know give everybody the chance to give it a try, see if it works. Um, um, what twenty twenty three was that? I was like an SQ five or something came through. It was a really late uh, like a twenty twenty three. Like they had the old loader and flash. No, nope, milk's gonna be very accommodating. Yep. Yeah. They aim to please. Yep. So. Um. So yeah, but. Uh, Please don't wait if you think there's a reason to. Um, if you just don't want to spend the money right now, or you know your wife's going to get mad at you, so you have to hide it, and that's going to take six months. Then definitely wait. You know, but uh, enjoy your power and performance right now. Yeah. 